I, I don't know. He, he, he certainly is quick enough there where that if he hole shots, he'll be gone. But Savachi's fired up tonight. Craig has got some confidence. Alex Martin and Nichols, of course, all qualified inside your top five there. All right. Do you think you have the starting gate figured out? These riders are hoping they do better than Cooper. Keep your eyes on it. Let's see who gets the best start here tonight in Oakland for our 250 West main event. Savanchi on the inside gets taken wide as Craig comes out with the lead. And Webb is right there for second. And maybe the best start of a main he's had all year. He comes right up for the lead. Craig and Webb battling early here. Great start. Watch Webb attack to the inside. Craig's going to slam the door. Now, last week in Anaheim, these two swapped the lead back and forth multiple times. An easy guess of about a dozen before Cooper finally pulled away and went on to his third win of the year. Well, Craig's going to lead the way here on lap one. Savachi runs in third. Savachi is back there in fourth. Savachi is the rider that I have my eye on here tonight. He seems to be fired up. He seems to be comfortable. But they just cannot allow Webb to get a clear track. He has the speed to check out. This is the type of track here. We've seen some rough riding all night long. And it may be that aggressive riding that is what's going to be necessary to take Cooper Webb out of his groove. Craig doing a great job minding his own line, putting in the laps and holding on. Is it gaining? Is it losing ground to Webb? But Savachi seems to be closing in a little bit. We'll keep an eye on the Kawasaki number 37. Watch as they come through the over-under, two different lines. Craig choosing the outside line, wants to get a good drive going across that whoop section. Webb and Savachi choosing the inside line. Craig, who said he's come back to racing for his young son, Jagger, wants him to know what Dad did. Dad's doing a great job here tonight in Oakland so far. Bit of a run through that corner there, Jeff. Boy, Cooper just dives into those whoops, doesn't he? Sure it does. There we've got the top three starting to close up a little bit. Alex Martin in fourth there, dropping back just a half a second or so. Yeah, and Osborne behind him. Here comes Cooper, a little bit quicker through there. They made a mistake. Instead of going double, triple, double, he went double, double, triple. Corrected his mistake quickly and really didn't lose any time. He seems See that, really good through the woods. And that inside line, if he's close over the finish line, he has that aggressive nature about his riding style that he will not hesitate to use that inside line Ooh, boy. as you come from under the tunnel to make a pass. He definitely closed in there. Where, where Craig excels is he is really good at riding perfect laps when he can just go out there and do his thing. But the pressure now with Webb, that's going to make him think about his lines differently. Savachi right there, ready to strike if these two oh, are down. Oh, goes Craig of the Geico Honda. The front just washed out from the 38. And Cooper Webb doesn't have to do anything to inherit the lead here tonight. Oh, what a tough break for Christian Craig. And now the Yamaha Star Racing Yamaha rider is out front once again here in round four third of the way through this race. And Savachi got held up a little bit. He, he went to the outside of Craig, and that cost him a little bit. Now, Craig, back up and going. That's going to put him in sixth. Let's see what happened to Craig. I mean, it just looked like the front end just went away from him. Now, I talked about him riding perfect laps. Let's see right here. If he clips this, maybe not. Gets into it clean. Just a little bit of... Uh, just tried to really, just really turn a tight line there. Lost some traction, some of that loose soil. 
Just a slight mental mistake by Cray that cost him big time. Timing and scoring showing him back in sixth position now. Craig sixth in the points as well. Webb is out in front in the points by 25 over Savachi. And don't forget, these are short seasons. These East and West championships are just about past the halfway point in the West title hunt this year. But as a rider, it's frustrating because you're thinking about, you know, that you just gave away the lead here and possibly a win. So what you have to do is put that behind you, refocus on where you're at. And Joey Savacci, the 37, has now refocused on Cooper Webb, who's out front. Savacci putting on a very strong ride, hungry for the first win of his career. You know, that was lap four, basically, where Webb was able to take over the lead. If he can hang on and win here tonight, Jeff, that will be the earliest that he has taken the lead in one of his wins, and this would be career victory number 10 for Cooper. Savanchi's not uh, losing too much ground to him, though, is he? He's hanging stuff. Webb's going to have to work for this one. I believe that tonight is the night that Joey Savacci on the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki is finally getting it figured out. We've talked about how much Mitch Payton's organization, Pro Circuit Kawasaki, needs to get back to the top step of the podium, back to their dominant performances of the years past. So many championships, so many championship caliber riders have come through that organization. Maybe Joey Savacci would be the one to help turn the tide for them. Yeah, and you see Savacci there in that rhythm section before the finish line turn. He clipped the tough blocks, came out of the turn, looked down to his uh, left boot to make sure he didn't have anything, uh, any piece of uh, uh, nylon or anything hanging on the side of the foot peg. Now he needs to get refocused. He's lost a few tenths of a second. That's, uh, that last lap, Webb was at a 54.4, Savaggi a 54.8. Behind these two is the number 26 Yamaha. Oh, problems for Jordan Smith. He was in the top five. And now another one of the Geico Hondas struggling here tonight. Well, remember, he was dealing with that shoulder injury, right, with a little bit of pain. Fourth in the championship. Let's try to find the red Honda. This is going into that 180 turn. Let's watch him. Oh, sorry, that was him coming out the turn. Same thing, he washed wow. out the front just like his yeah. teammate. Yeah, yeah, but this was exiting the turn. That is very rare that a rider goes down on the exit of a turn. Just too much lead angle. Back we go up front. Webb and Savachi. I am, I am very impressed right now with how Savachi is hanging in there. Last time around, though, was Colt Nichols with the fastest time in third. Savachi was second fastest. Webb, the third fastest. Let's see as they come around the finish line this time. Here's Nichols now up into third on the 69. Colt out of Muskogee, Oklahoma, that cycle trader, Rock River Yamaha. Now, you might remember it was Martin who was running in third, but... Jeff, he had trouble with the over-under. Yeah, one lap ago, watch this. Martin, oh, he clips the tough block and goes down hard. Yeah, and to the outside, which is where everybody else is coming. Scary wow. spot through there. His visor gets knocked off his helmet, and he's not getting up too quick. I actually caught that as uh, Nichols was going over the over-under, they were still trying to get Martin's uh, bike for, out from under there. Nichols has a career-best fifth. That came two weeks ago in San Diego, so he's about to better that if he can hang on with six laps remaining. Here now is Craig, who's marched his way back up to fourth, which is important for him in the championship points. Fourth, but 14 seconds behind the leader. Oldenburg in fifth on his number 42. Troy Lee designs Red Bull KTM. 
Well, this will be a season best for him also, Ralph. It's been, he's had a pair of nights at round one and three. He's had some really good speed, great qualifying speed uh, this year, but hasn't put it together in the main. So Troy Lee and the gang there at that team got to be stoked on where he's at right now. And quite possibly the most colorful riding gear of the night. <laughs> Troy Lee is definitely known for that. He mixes well, up some it is up some color. In a sport that's known for being colorful, you got to go a long way to get most colorful award of the night. They've done it. Oldenburg, ninth in the point standings. This will help him some tonight. I love the overhead shot there, that discount tire, bringing us the spider cam. Um, because then you get a sense of where the ruts are at on the track. You really get a sense of some of the lines, some of the challenges that the riders have. Kyle Peters brings his Ride365.com Honda out of Greensboro, North Carolina, and he's running right now in sixth. He's got company, though. Osborne has been flying. Osborne's just behind him there. There he is on the Husqvarna. Osborne was fifth on lap one, but something has happened between then and now because uh, he's had to work his way back up through the pack. Peter's getting used to running out here in the west. Has a best career finish of second in Indianapolis back in 2013. Osborne trying to go to the inside. Not going to make it happen just yet. He's putting the pressure on that. Cooper Webb. Not smoke. sure what happened to the number one, but Jeff, I see some smoke coming out of the tail. He's trying to keep that thing over. And the Yamaha does not want to fire. Right away, he motioned to the mechanics area where his mechanic, Eric Gass, would be. That is a very strange look there. You don't normally see that. The rider stall the bike. Usually it'll fire back up. He carries that red number one point because he is a points leader and he's calling it quits. There goes the win streak. The win streak goes out the window and Sabachi is on his way to a win and a big gain in the points with two laps to go. Career victory number one awaiting Joey Sabachi a lap and a half from now. That's going to move Nichols up to second, Craig up to third. But watch here as Cooper Webb. Let's see if we see any sort of puff of smoke or anything. Goes into the turn, stalls the engine. He's unable to get it fired. He's very patient right now. Goes down to first, trying to get it back up. But you notice that right there, there was something to happen. If he had stalled it, there was some of the smoke coming out of the tailpipe right there. If he had just stalled it, he, he would have been a little more quickly trying to start the engine. He just basically was trying to get it into neutral right away. White, white flag out for Joey Savacci. We heard him saying earlier today, we really feel like we've... Oh, now he's looking down, Jeff. Did you see that? Quick look to the left and a bit of frustration. Can he nurse his machine around for one more lap? Not sure what he was looking at. Oh, Savachi, can you imagine the things that are going through his mind right now? He's got a huge 10-second lead on Nichols, but he's just got to nurse it around. The rider out of Thomasville, Georgia, on his way to a career first. The last pro circuit rider to win, Dean Wilson, Las Vegas, 2014. Can it be Joey Savachi tonight? He's just got to make it around a little bit further. Boy, he is looking at him. He knows he's got issues, but he sees the checkers. Joey Savacci, career win number one. Cooper Webb has fired the number one back up. He will finish the night, but not where he thought he would be on the top step of the podium. He is going to be deep in the field, showing 21st right now, two laps down. The thrill of victory, the 37 of Joey Savacci. What a moment this is. He, he was good.